fools and just get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Sing hallelujah. Bouquet tosses are being asked for much less by my clients than in the past and garter removal and tosses even less. I would say out of 100 weddings I might perform, maybe 10 will be doing the bouquet toss and even less will be doing the garter. But regardless, I wanted to explain a little bit about them and uh, wanted to talk about either of them just in case you want to do them. The bouquet toss is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just let me know that you'd like to do it and if you'd like to, you can choose the song that's playing in the background while it's happening. The best time to do it is usually during dancing sometime, especially if we see a lot of girls already on the dance floor. But be aware, if we do end up doing it, we're going to empty the dance floor and I'll need to work to get it back going again. But if your dance party is on the longer side, say three hours, then doing it in the middle is a great time to do it. Then you can break up dancing from all the fast dancing we've probably just gotten out of and play a couple of slow songs or specialty songs like a swing dance or something like that. I'll touch more upon that though in later videos that focus on the dance part of the reception. If you also decide to do the garter removal, you can choose the song for that as well, or I can choose it. I have a few favorites that I like to use. Once your husband removes your garter, then becomes the question as to whether you want it put on the girl who caught the bouquet by the guy who catches the garter. This is up to you, and many of my clients tell me that they will decide that once they see who catches both. Obviously, we don't want to put anybody in an uncomfortable spot. 